Hello everyone, my name is Zachary and today I'm going to be talking about Andorra. Andorra is this small landlocked country in Europe uh, surrounded by both France and Spain. As a matter of fact, Barcelona is only about uh, 40 minutes or to an hour away and so it's a good place to go. It's also very unique because it's uh, dominated mostly by mountains and valleys with lots of very beautiful hiking trails and lots of chances to really get into nature and they'll let you camp out on the hiking trails too for free which is even better. And it also is home to one of the largest hot springs in Europe called the Chaldea and there's an inside look of it. It's basically like a giant spa resort and it attracts hundreds of tourists every year, hundreds of thousands. And also it has a very interesting animal in uh, Andorra that you won't find anywhere else which also doubles as the national symbol which is called the Izard. The Izard is related to the antelope family and is very unique because it has sharp paws that will allow it to run across the peaks at very precarious heights and like very hazardous but he does it with ease and speed. And this uh, inside, and that's a picture of it right there. It's a very amazing animal that you won't find anywhere else. Andorra is also home to lots of arts and classical like buildings. It's uh, mostly religious is Catholic pre like you know Catholic religion, and that's because of its history. And here's one statue that you'll find there. It's called the dan it's the dancing statue, which uh, is a little bit about their culture. And they're very festive people. They have several festivals, at least one almost every week, and they're very big. It seems like it's always in uh, party mode. So it's a great place to visit. And also, they're, um, they're pretty famous in rugby. As a matter of fact, their team, when last uh, in 2005, they were the top 50 teams in rugby. And here's a picture of their team. Andorra is also known for skiing and that's where they held the Winter Olympics in I think 2005 or 2007. So, and I'm also getting all this information from this really good book called Cultures of the World. And this one, it, each uh, book focuses on a different country and is very cool and it's uh, written by many authors and is reviewed several times. Also, Andorra is, um, I had something else I wanted to say, which was it? One second. It's also um, not affected that much by pollution because there's no major factories. So it's also very clean air, very clean water. And the government is really down, like batting down to not let it get as bad as other countries. And it's also the 184th member of the United Nations. So it's actually part of the United Nations and helps with their uh, decisions. So if you like skiing and you're a nature enthusiast, um, Andorra is a really good place to go. Um, the lifespan for uh, people in Andorra, uh, the average is about 80 years, both for female and uh, male. And also everyone in Andorra is literate, 100% literate and education is compulsory by the age of 16. So there's not a lot of illiterate people, everyone gets good education. And it's only, when last surveyed in 2005, the population was about 78,000. So, with uh, 100 and, 150, I think, percent, 150 people per square foot, or square mile. So, it's a very small country, very clean, uh, beautiful place to visit. And um, that's it. Be sure to tune in and subscribe and so that way you can learn about more about the next country. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you next time.